This is the 2022 Keystone Alpine 3720MD. This is a brand new floor plan for 2022 from Keystone Alpine. And you'll be able to see the specs on the screen for it here. It is a big about 41, 42 foot fifth wheel with the mid bunk. You'll see with that mid bunk layout here, you're gonna have the three slide outs on this area. Now this is gonna be different from something like this Montana High Country over here that we just looked at here recently. The Montana High Country had the mid bunk, but it had the loft over the mid bunk. Whereas this one does not have that loft space, which is giving you a bigger area in the mid bunk room here. And it's going to have some different things that they can do in that mid bunk area because they don't have the loft space over there. It's gonna be a full profile fifth wheel. So you have the drop frame construction on it. You can see the frame dropped underneath here. So that frame drop allows for the bigger storage compartment down underneath here. And the storage compartment very large. You can see you have your aluminum framing throughout here. You're going to have welds on both sides of all the aluminum frame pieces. Also underneath here, you have the in-command system here. So this is going to be all your color coordinated wiring. Without taking the panel off, you can see that you have all your wires color coordinated. So that's going to be a big deal because I've talked to a lot of techs and RV owners where they pull apart an RV to do some sort of electrical trouble troubleshooting and every single wire is the exact same color. So in a Keystone RV, you're going to have all color coordinated wiring and behind this plate here is a legend that tells you where every wire goes as well. Also have heat fed into this cavity so that'll keep everything warm underneath there as well. Nice slam latch handles on all of your compartment doors out here and you'll have a spot for two batteries in this compartment. Spot for an additional solar panel to plug on this side. However, there's already a 200 watt solar panel, or sorry, 400 watts of solar on the roof. I want to show that how that slams shut right there, nice and solid. 400 watts of solar on the roof. You have two speakers on the outside. Your LED light strip on the awning is against the trailer side there. So whether your awning is pushed in or pushed out, you will have access to that LED light. And then as you can see here, you're going to have awnings on both the slide out and the side of the RV. And as we walk around here, I do want to point out that we are in the campsite area of my dealership where here, if you do come buy an RV from me, you can actually set it up back here in our campsite area, just like some of these other RVs are, where you can stay in it for a day or two just to try everything out, make sure everything works properly, make sure you understand how to do everything before you actually take it home. That way, if something doesn't work properly or you don't know how to do something, we're right here and we can come over here and help you out, get it fixed or show you what you might be doing wrong without you having to bring it all the way back here for us to look at it and be right here on the spot. We also have a gate here so you can come and go 24 hours a day, whether we're open or closed, so you don't have to feel like you're trapped in here either. And it's a really awesome thing that we offer here that makes getting into a new RV a much more comfortable experience, especially for maybe a new RV or something like that. As we come along to the back, you'll have your ladder on the rear wall here. The ladder actually does go flat against the RV. So it goes up like that and goes flat. You can see I have the pins down here that are taken out right now, but it'll go flush against that back wall, which will give you a little bit less of a overall total length when you put that ladder in. So that is why they do that mechanism there just to save you. I mean, that's dang near probably seven inches or so, seven, six, maybe seven inches there that you're saving in total overall length on the RV by doing that. And then back in this area, you're gonna have the prep for the backup camera there. You're gonna have an electric power cord reel. So this here, there's a couple different things with the Alpine that I really think sell the value on this of where the price point is at compared to other things in the market. Because this here is going to have a 100 inch wide body construction. You have the electric power cord reel here. So your power cord is on an electric reel. You don't have to worry about where you're gonna store it. If you've never had an RV before, those power cords are also thick and heavy. So that's something you don't have to lug around. So you're gonna have those two things. You're gonna have a touchscreen control panel that links to your phone and you have a tankless on-demand water heater, all standard. Those are not additional options that you have to order on an Alpine. Those all come standard. And at the price point that this is at, I don't know of another fifth wheel out there in the market that offers all those things in a fifth wheel at the same price point that an Alpine is at. Everything else that would is gonna be more expensive from everything I've ever looked at. So really love that, that you have that there. And 
see underneath here, you're gonna have a fully enclosed underbelly. All your water tanks and water lines are going to be enclosed in this underbelly. And you're gonna have 12 volt heat pads on all your water tanks as well. So you'll have an electric heat source to keep those water tanks warm. But when your furnace is on, it will be sending heat into that area as well to keep your water tanks and water lines from freezing. You have your spare tire underneath here as well. And then on your slide out mechanism, on these bigger slides, you're gonna have the rack and pinion style hydraulic slide outs on your bigger slides there. So a really fast, quick operating slide mechanism. Same thing on this one here. And then on your smaller slide out up here, you're gonna have the Swintec slide mechanism. Now this is gonna be where your water heater is. Um, so access into that is right through there, although that will be turned on and off from inside the RV. You have your water compartment all through here and does have a light in here, I wanna make sure. If you have a light in there, you're gonna have your external shower there. It'll come with this 25 foot coil hose and all of your water controls will all be through here. Also, if you want to get cable to different TVs inside the RV, the connection is there and there's actually a blue wire behind here running to the roof. So if you do install that satellite, that cable is already ran. And that is a super easy plug and play system right there. Biggest thing about that is if you do install a satellite, whoever is working on that job, the tech will not have to run that wire. So that'll save you money on that end. So everything will be in there from that. What I really like about it is how the door opens there and there is nothing that you can see that is gonna cause you to have to duck down underneath anything to get into this compartment. So not gonna have to break your back to get in there. Access to the pass-through storage from this side as well over here. And then finally, two 30 pound propane bottles both on the same side with one another. Open this up, you have your Auto leveling controls all through here with the equalizer system control panel there. It does link to your phone, so it is compatible with your phone as well. And then looking at the exact specs of this RV, you have a 14,080 pounds on the dry weight and then the fully loaded vehicle weight rating would be 16,500 pounds. So that is gonna be if it were fully loaded, you have a cargo carrying capacity on here of 1,909 pounds. Then coming around to the front, you're going to have your hitch vision plate here, a really big hitch vision plate compared to some of the other Keystone RVs. This is a patented Keystone technology here where you have this plate that allows you to see the bed of your truck as you're backing up to align it with your pin box there. And this one is really large, so you get really good vision from that LED docking light right there as well that you can turn on to see what you're doing in darker conditions. You have the Road Armor pin box here, so this is gonna have the one inch thick rubber bushing there that is going to absorb a lot of that chuck that chucking, sorry, as you go brake and accelerate and whatnot, giving you a more comfortable towing experience. And then coming down underneath here, you're going to have all of your hydraulic lines all coming through here. And then you have your 30 amp solar charge controller up there. So that is the bigger one that comes with part of the 400 watt solar package, your inverter there as well. And I know the big thing that I have a problem with, like most of you do too with these Alpines, is just how cluttered everything feels in here. I don't feel like cable management throughout here would be too difficult, but I totally understand you're looking at this like, oh my gosh, why does this look so cluttered? And I definitely would prefer that they would figure out a solution to get this more organized under here coming out of the factory. But not a, a super hard thing to get this organized underneath there that Unfortunately, the you as a consumer, and I look at it the same way you would, you know, this is something we'd have to come in and kind of manage and organize ourselves after purchasing. And I hate that it's like that. And I hope Keystone and the Alpine team do something to kind of clean this up coming out of the factory. But really the one of the few critiques I have on this model here in this brand. Underneath here, you're gonna have all this storage space and it is kind of, it's not generator prepped, um, because you would, don't have the wiring in here for the generator prep, but it is a prepped out space that would fit the generator if that was something that you wanted to do later on down the road. And close that up. That's gonna be just about everything. I did realize one thing I forgot to talk about on the outside was the suspension system, because this does have the Road Armor suspension. So we've talked about this quite a bit, but your Road Armor suspension down here is gonna have the six inches of travel. So it's three inches of travel up and three inches of travel down. These rubber bushings here are gonna absorb a lot of that shock, giving you a more comfortable towing experience as well. And that is just about everything on the outside of this fifth wheel. So let's go hop on the inside and see what this floor plan has to offer.
So as we go inside, first of all, you're gonna have the solid surface steps, but even more importantly, possibly, is the Alpine is going to come with a strut assist on that. So when you lift that up, it is going to go up pretty much on its own and it'll be weightless as you pull it down. The biggest thing with that is these steps are kind of heavy without that. So when you're pulling them out of your RV, it's going to prevent them from slipping out of your hands or falling and hitting you in any way and also assist you in picking them up also. Another thing I like is you have this grab handle that reaches further down, so you do not have to step up onto the first step to reach this grab handle, making it much easier going in and out of the RV. Finally, you have the 400 watt solar system on here and the polar pack package. Oh my gosh, I just realized too, we didn't go up on the roof. So let's go up on the roof real quick. I totally forgot about that. Almost missed it, but I really like to get up there and show y'all the roof as well, because I think it's important. See, you have your Coleman Mach Q-Series ACs. You have three of them, and you have the two 400 watt, or sorry, the two 200 watt solar panels equaling 400 watts. Plus you have some attic vents here, so any heat and moisture can escape out of the roof cavity. Fully walkable roof, fully walkable slide out boxes, and then you have your two awnings there as well. So let's get back down from here. Oh. get back down from here and then continue our way inside with that polar pack package. Those are gonna be things like the 12 volt heat pads you have on the water tanks, um, the two 15,000 BTU ACs, and then that third AC is an additional option to really help keep it cool in here. And different things like that, you have insulation um, all throughout the sl um, slide out floors and things like that as well as part of that package. A um, double insulated rear wall, all kinds of stuff to Get this rated into the negative temperature. So I believe uh, the Alpines are rated from negative four degrees to 100 degrees. So a wide range there that this thing is rated to, to make sure you're comfortable. And as you look around, this is the big benefit to a mid bunk style model here. You have a second additional bedroom that is back behind this wall. So two bedrooms in here, but you have all this seating space. You get the dinette table, you get the recliners and you get the three cushion sofa there. And I'm sorry, I just realized, I think I put my hand in the camera a little too much to point to things like this and like that. And so I'm gonna try to do that a little less cause it's like, it's on the screen right there. You can see it. So I'm gonna try to do that a little bit less. But you have this traditional rear living fifth wheel style floor plan with all the seating here. And you have what is technically two bedrooms in here. So we'll get to some of that here in a second. But first of all, you have the dinette table here, nice looking chairs that it comes with, and they will lift up for storage underneath there in the Alpine. Plus you do have a leaf here that will pull out, so that will extend the length of this. On your windows, you're going to have day and night shades on every window here. So you will have those there as well. Have your windows all on the campsite here, nice light fixtures that they use in the Alpine look really clean. And then you have two recliners here where these are going to be, looks like they're powered recliners, but they have the pull strap to actually recline the chair, um, but you will have the heat and massage that are powered plus the USB port. And then these will lay almost all the way flat. So a pretty comfortable recliner that you have there as well. Push that down. Oh, there you go. So got your recliners there. You have your light switch on the wall here for your lights in the slide out. And then coming back to this three cushion sofa, this is going to pull out to a king size bed. So it is a trifold sofa that you can pull out. And then also because it is a three cushion sofa, it's about five foot eight in total length maybe. Um, it's hard for me to say exactly actually. I, all I know, I'm about six two and I can lay my head on this armrest here and my legs can stretch all the way out without actually coming all the way to that armrest there. They come really close to it, but I can actually pretty much lay all the way across there. So a really comfortable space to be able to do that as well, in addition to that pulling out to make a bed. Then you have wireless charging pads here on both sides of the sofa. So if you have a wirelessly charging phone, you can just drop them right there on those stands and they will charge your phone. You're gonna have your thermometer probe here. So that is reading the temperature for the AC. You have your light switch here, which that just turns off the lights right above us. Outlet underneath there. 
and then outlet there as well. Plus, again, all your windows all along that back wall. Have storage space up above. Both the storages on both sides of this will be the same, a pretty large space there, and these will have soft closed cabinets. All the cabinets in here will be soft closed. It's another thing where I'm like, there's a lot of brands out there like the Solitude that I sell out of my Houston stores that is more expensive than this Alpine, doesn't have a tankless on-demand water heater, and doesn't have soft closed cabinets, and is probably about 20 grand more expensive for a similar floor plan in most instances. So a lot that comes with this Alpine package that you're getting here. Have the fireplace, it'll have four different colors here. So if you haven't seen that, we can kind of go through them. Or you have that purple, that's always my favorite. You have the natural fire color, the orange, and the blue. And I always go to the purple. I don't know why, that's just the aesthetic that I like. But different colors there that you can use. 50 inch screen TV, so you'll have that for your entertainment. Plus you have your sound system all throughout here with your speakers pointing directly towards where you'd be seated or seat wow where you would be sitting right there so storage space up above this area it's all unobstructed through there so you'll have that storage space up there as well love the soft close cabinets that's such a big deal to me and then here you have the insignia four burner stove and oven if you don't know the insignia oven is the biggest oven in any rv right now so absolutely huge space in here see how big it is and then you have the warming rack underneath here, or this could just be used for storage as well. So four burner stove, you have a residential size microwave slash convection oven. So that does have the convection oven combo there and storage up above there. Moving to this space, you have a wine rack over the refrigerator and then you have a residential size refrigerator. Now, one other critique that I have for this floor plan and this isn't really a critique for me per se it's more so just thinking from a consumer standpoint of what I hear that y'all like more often than not is you cannot get to this refrigerator and freezer with the slide out close so I'll actually show you that here in just a second you do have a really deep freezer space in here so I like that very deep freezer space and you have the ice maker as well so nice space there but you'll see when I come over here to the controls we're going to push this slide in, which it'll be the sofa and dinette slide. We're going to push that in there. And you'll be able to see. First of all, you can see how quickly this goes in. It is a very fast operating slide. And then I'll show you exactly where it comes to and how you are unable to get to the refrigerator. So you can see right here, it blocks off your path getting there. I mean, if you want to crawl over this countertop through there, you got a kid that's willing to do that, you can do that. But other than that, you will not be able to reach that refrigerator with the slide in. So just want to make sure you are aware of that, because I know that's something that is very important to a lot of people. Um, it's something where I don't think my family or us have ever needed access to our refrigerator while we're traveling because um, we keep most of the stuff we want just in a cooler in the bed of the truck or something like that. Something like the Iceco VL60 that we saw in the pass-through storage compartment. Um, we keep our stuff like waters and sandwiches and stuff that we want in there. But if getting to the refrigerator is a super big priority to you, then this may just not be the floor plan for you. Finally, you have all of this countertop space and storage space here. These will open up. And we see this kind of set up in a lot of different Alpine fifth wheels. All this countertop space, really deep. You have two outlets, so one on each side. This is like a faux tile behind here. So this is not real tile. It is just basically glued on there and framed in on the sides. So not a real tile, but it looks nice. And then huge storage compartments underneath here, which these are pretty unique where they actually are accessed from the other side as well, which we'll take a look at in there. So four pull-out drawers that will open up there as well for additional storage. Great coffee bar type area or whatever it may be that you want to set this up with, Instapot or air fryer. And then you have your island kitchen here and more storage all throughout here as well where this will open up. You have a nice shelf down underneath there. So two tiered kind of storage system down under there. And then you have this spot that'll pull out where you have two 
trash cans or a recycling bin or whatever it may be. Four more drawers that will pull out there. You have the faucet that you can move around and looks really nice. And then you have the oversized, really big sink on this side, just huge. And then the sink here as well. That is just about everything in this area. The last thing I want to point out real quick is you do have a third AC option on this fifth wheel. So it has three ACs on it. Oh, and this here, the ceiling fan actually had an issue with it. So we had to take it off and get that ceiling fan replaced. So it will have a ceiling fan in it as well. I was just impatient and didn't want to wait for them to get it put back on before I started making the video. So it's not on there, but it will have a ceiling fan as well. And also last thing price in this area. Let's go over that real quick. With all the options on this, which include like the 400 watt solar package, the additional third AC, stuff like that, it's going to be 142.971. So if you didn't know, I am in a sales position here at my dealership. I do not get paid to come out here and make videos of these RVs for my company. I only get paid when I sell an RV and I just do this on my own time to hopefully meet people like you that are looking for an RV and help educate you about them and show you the different options out there. And build some trust with you so that when you are ready to purchase your RV, you may come to me. So if you are interested in this RV, you can text me at the number on the screen there and I would love to help you out in helping you make this RV yours or um, scheduling a time with you to just come take a look at it in person or whatever you need to do. I would love to help you out so you can text me at the number on the screen there. And keep in mind this MSRP price here is not our sales price. We will be able to sell this well below this MSRP price. Um, I don't know exactly what we're able to sell it for, but you can text me at the number on the screen there and I will get you an exact price or help you out with, that, with whatever I can. So as we head back down this hallway, first of all, you have a very long hallway because of the second bedroom over here on this side. And when you step in here, you have a sofa here in the slide out box, really big windows, no loft. So it's all open underneath here. You'll have the vent up there with a big oversized fan and then also i think i forgot to show that in here oh no you don't have that in here because of the third ac i forgot about that sometimes when you get that third ac don't have that vent fan in the kitchen area but you will have air that vents out of the microwave underneath there outside of the rv when you're cooking so don't be concerned about that because it will vent that air out so as we come inside here you'll have your sofa there this is actually a desk that flips down so you can see it's on hinges right there so it can flip down if you don't need it and then you have just a huge entertainment space here, 50 inch screen TV right there, all that storage space as well. This is basically like a second private den that you have right here. A nice big mirror on there. I like that they put that there because pretty much every mid bunk fifth wheel I've seen just leaves that wall completely empty, which putting something in that space definitely gives it a much cleaner look, a much more finished look. And so I really love this space. You have the same audio controls here as you do in the living room, same speaker system. And then check this out. These doors that open up here actually go through to the same storage that was in the kitchen. So just a pretty interesting idea that they came up with there. I know we took this RV to one of the RV shows um, in the winter. And when kids saw this, they absolutely loved that. So I don't know exactly how practical that may be for your camping experience. If you have ideas of how that could be used and utilized, let me know down below in the comments, but a pretty interesting idea that they have there that I don't think I've seen from somebody else. So pretty interesting. Storage underneath here that will open up. So you're gonna have that space there. It looks like it's unobstructed all the way through. So four um, cabinet doors that open up there that are all connected. Nice little framed out storage space there as well. Um, Looks like the TV is on a swivel mount back here, so it will move around if you need it to. And storage up above that's kind of the same as down below. Which you have there as well. Again, still soft closed cabinets all throughout here. And you have your AC vent in here, so you'll get AC fed into this area. You also get heat fed into this area. And you do have an outlet there. And it looks like that's the only outlet in this area, so you'll have your outlet there for different um, stuff that you need to hook up if you want to do some schoolwork there, hook up a computer or whatever it may be, you'll have that space there. So pretty interesting space. Let me know down below in the comments what you think of this kind of mid-den area and what your thoughts are on it. So we head up this way, you're going to have your spot here to hang keys, this little pinboard area, spot to hang some coats and whatnot. Have another window here out to your campsite 
and then you're going to have your safety railing here where the steps are. Central vac system, so you will have that on this fifth wheel. And then this is where all your breakers and fuses will be. So that's what's inside that panel there. You have controls for your tankless on-demand water heater here. Then you have the touchscreen in-command system here. Now this is the new gen of this in-command system. So this is a much improved system from what it was before. It's much more responsive. So if I go to something like the lights per se, as soon as I tap that button there, it's almost an instant response, kind of like an iPhone would be. The previous generation was a little bit slower, um, just didn't respond quite as quick. And you can see all the different things you have control of in here. And this will link to your phone. So everything that this can do, your phone can do when you're within Bluetooth range. So a lot of stuff that you can control there. And keep in mind, again, this does have the 12 volt heat pads on your water tanks as well. You have a porcelain toilet in the main bathroom here. You're gonna have a fiberglass one piece shower. So everything in here is gonna be a lot like what would be at your home unless you have just a super um, upgraded bathroom or something like that with a stone shower or something like that. But a fiberglass shower, kind of like what would come in any standard, um, you know, high end apartment or something like that. So really good finish on it, has spots for all your soaps and things like that. And you do have the seat in here as well. When I stand in this space, being about 6'2", 6'3", with my shoes on, my head does not quite touch the ceiling here. And then you have about another four inches or so in the skylight. So I would say you could be about 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six and comfortably fit in here. And then this shower head sits at about the height of my forehead, or maybe right between my eyes. So you might have to pick it up a little bit just to get it over your head if you're about as tall as me or taller. Bathroom space, you have your medicine cabinet. I really like the light fixture they chose for up here, so that has a nice finish to it. It also has its own individual light switch, but can also be controlled by this light switch as well. So you can turn that light off even while leaving your other light here in the bathroom on if you want. You have another vent fan in here as well. And then you have your longer storage all through this area that you can use for different linens and bathroom items. And finally, your shelf underneath here. And then it is a pass-through bathroom, so you'll have two entrances to the bedroom. You're gonna have the king-size bed in here. And the AC is full blast in here, so if you can hear it, I don't even know that you can. It's pretty quiet. It is the Coleman Mott Q-Series AC. It has the residential air filter in here, so that's gonna filter out, just like your home would, all of the dead skin cells and dust particles and different things like that in your air. Thinking about having an RV, how important that is. I mean, you're at dusty, dirty climates or areas most of the time where you know, you're tracking a lot of dust and dirt into the RV. This is gonna clean all that out, keep your ducting system cleaner over the lifespan of your RV and protect the air that you're breathing. Whereas before they just used to have these little foam, black foam pieces that basically were only good for filtering out maybe dog hair. So love that change. Again, the king size bed. And then on this side of the bedroom, you have all of these drawers. So you have five drawers here that will pull out for storage, a TV already installed in the bedroom. And then you're gonna have the bench in here so you can sit down to put on your socks and shoes and things like that. Plus you have storage underneath there as well. I believe that's the only spot you find carpet inside this RV. And then finally, open this up and you're gonna have your wardrobe closet where you do have washer dryer connections. So you can put a washer and dryer in here. And then you have the full wardrobe closet with two outlets inside of here. And your central vac hose that will reach the entire length of the interior of the RV. When you close these up, you have a full length mirror. So it makes this room feel really large. And then you have reading lights over both individuals in this bed area. Plus you have your windows on both sides. You have these little nightstands that they give you where this one will have uh, no outlet underneath here, but the outlet is underneath the bed right there. And then on the other side, you're going to have your outlet underneath the nightstand right there. So your outlet will be right there and you'll have a slightly bigger nightstand spot on this one. Sliding pocket door, go into the bathroom, and then finally lift this up. This is where the ceiling fan is that we saw in the living room. So that needs to be put back on there. And you have this big framed out storage space underneath your bed. That is just about everything in this fifth wheel. Oh, you also have surround sound speakers there as well. And I think I just about touched on everything. Let me talk about these air vents here. I've talked about these a bunch. I've talked about them so much, I feel like I almost Forget to talk about them now with how much I have already talked about them. 
but these push air out in a 360 degree motion. And I should say, when I talk about them in other videos, I understand you may be a first time viewer and don't even know that I have almost 300 videos on YouTube now, but I've talked about these in a lot of different videos up to this point. But these push air out in a 360 degree motion versus what used to be directional vents that just push air down in one or two directions maybe. Significantly more airflow in here, plus these openings are so large that they're very quiet because the more condensed area is that air is coming out of, the louder it is. So this is much quieter, and because it pushes air out in a 360 degree direction, it is cooling RVs down up to 20% quicker because of that increased airflow. So really great system that they use there as well. Let's head out of here. Oh, and you have a dimmer switch in here too. So if you want to dim the lights in the bedroom, you can do that as well. Set the mood in there and give it a little bit different feel. And we'll walk back down, give you one final look at your living space and wrap this thing up.